morning guys and welcome to part two of my craft room tour. Today I'm going to be showing you all my stationery in detail and I'm actually also going to be creating a video later today for my patrons over on Patreon. It's going to be a snail mail tutorial, the theme's going to be Practical Magic and um, Spirited Away, a Ghibli studio film. So I'm going to be collecting bits and pieces for that as we go. This video is going to be nice and chatty as I'm going to be telling you where I got everything from and also my favourite bits and pieces. So let's get started on the video. Alrighty, Rue, so I thought we'd start from this side of the desk and then slowly work our way to the other side. Now, on this side of the desk, as you can see at the very top, I've got my little Totoro. I got him from Japan, um, and I think it was actually from one of the Studio Ghibli shops. Now, on the top here, I've also got all my pens and bits and pieces. Let me show you those. So I've got lots of these no face pens. I thought they were so cute. Some of these were actually gifted to me, which I absolutely adore. Now the rest of these pens here are just a mixture of things that I've collected over the years. So some are fine liners and others are just things that I was, um, as I said, gifted. These pens here are my favourite at the moment. They're my graphic fine liners. And as you can see, it's got all the different widths of the pen listed there. And it's really nice because I've got the brush at the very top, which I can do a lot of my titles. And then I've been mixing around what... Um, what basically millimetre I like my fine liner to be. So sometimes when I'm doing my uni assignments, I can actually choose a thicker pen for the like mini titles and then a thinner pen for the body of work. So yeah, I've really been loving these, highly recommend. I also love my jewel and markers. So these ones are from Typo and the colours are just gorgeous. As you can see, the first three are these beautiful pinks and oranges. And then the last three are greys and blacks. So they're perfect for titles. And the top ones are perfect for more artsy design. Inside, I've also got this little mushroom whiteout. Now, I've had this since high school and I couldn't chuck it out, even though I'm pretty sure it's dried out now. But it's just so cute. I've got a little tin of stickers, all the little sticker girls inside. So this stamp set is from, I'm pretty sure, Your Creative Studio. And it's got beautiful Alice in Wonderland stamps inside. This tin is full of mini postcards. Again, I got this when I was in high school, so over seven years ago. So I'm sorry, but this may not be available anymore. They actually just look like Polaroids and they've got these beautiful designs on them. At the back here, I've also got this pen set. Some Pocky. And I've also got my tea set here. I've opened this up in many videos, so I'm not gonna open it up today. So that's everything I've got inside my little pen box, other than a few um, pencil sharpeners and staples. Under my Totoro, I then have drawers full of papers and bits and pieces. So let me show you what's inside of these. They're pretty unorganized. So this is the first drawer, and I'll definitely call it miscellaneous. Um, I've got lots of envelopes and letters at the back, and then at the front I've got these large paper clips. These are just from Kmart, they're the rose gold ones. And then I've got also a ring that my grandma gave me that I just haven't found a spot for it yet. And then these little um, ocean timber um, decorative wall. You just put them on crafts basically, so decorative crafts. So that's the first drawer. As I said, they're very unorganized. I've even got things like bits of plastic that I want to reuse. Um, there's a few envelopes, stickers, sticker books, <laughs> um, and then I've just got some stamps. And then these little things, they're little mini envelopes and stamp packs as well. How cute is this little card and envelope? <laughs> it's so deeny diny. So this is drawer three, and um, these are usually the things that I like to go through when I'm making snail mail packs. So I've got things like stamps, I've got my sticker packs in here, envelopes, I've got these like, ah, they're stuck, little mini envelopes, and then I've got some 
um, letters at the back from a few pen pals and then a few, as I said, miscellaneous items in there. You never know what you're going to find in these drawers. So this drawer, I'm pretty sure it's all the bits and pieces that I used to have up on a cork board. Um, so little things that you guys have made and sent me, as well as, so I went through a cacti phase. <laughs> this one's really cute. Some postcards. Again, little mini envelope packs. Um, what else is in here? We've got some Gudetama stickers. Some Casper the Ghost candy that I didn't want to chuck out. These cute little sticker sets. Little things that you guys have made me. And then the last drawer. I'm pretty sure this is just envelopes and letters from you guys. And some sticker packs under here. So I haven't been able to go to, through these drawers in detail just because there's going to be a few addresses in them. But yeah. Definitely my miscellaneous drawers. If you're wondering what's inside the trunk, I actually have nothing in there at the moment just because I thought it'd be really hard to get at the trunk if I've got a whole bunch of things on top. The money box that looks like a Japanese post box is from Daiso. This little stamp is a no issue stamp and underneath it's sitting on the book that Barbara recently sent me in the mail. I really want to spray paint this shelf because it looks so messy. I really don't like the black. But this here, it's actually from Muji, I'm pretty sure. Now this is a washi tape dispenser. Well, it's a tape dispenser, but I put my washi tape in there. We've also got this little toy. That's from Japan. I got it out of the little gachapon. I've also got my wax burner and then these little waxes. So if you move up, I've also got some wax stamps, some tea, and the little lollies are from a Studio Ghibli movie. At the top, I now have my plant, my Spirited Away little statue, and then over on this side, I've got some little retro figures that I got from an antique store in Japan, and then a few little bits and pieces. So that little, I don't know, what do you call it, a hamster? inside of, um, I'm pretty sure it's a cream puff or something. Um, I got that little guy out of a gachapon. And then at the top there um, is also a button that I got from the Studio Ghibli store. Now if we move across, I've also got a stack of washi tapes. The larger ones are from Your Creative Studio and the smaller ones are actually Ghibli washi tapes that I got from the Ghibli store. I've then got a stack of little mini notebooks that I'll flip through in a second. This here is a ink pad. I've also got my double sided tape. These two I use all of the time. <laughs> I also got these two out of a gachapong as well in Japan. So this one here is a little glue tub but I don't think I'm ever going to use him. And this little guy is one of those little um, toys that you write on in playgrounds. These two are also from your creative studio. Um, actually, no, these are actually from London Gifties. These actually here are also from London Gifties. So the large washi tapes, they're not from your creative studio. I've just got them in my head because I've got to do a review on them soon. They're actually all from London Gifties. So I've also got two journals here. This one here is my traveler's notebook. And then the one next to it is from Kaiser Craft. So let me show you a few of my little notebooks and journals. So we'll start with this mini stack here. Now this little one is so cute. It was actually made and sent to me. And it is a Winnie the Pooh theme. And it's just got some plain pages inside. But I love it because it looks like a little traveler's notebook. And it actually has like the... Traveller's Notebook here and also have a nice trip. These two I got out of my, I'm pretty sure it's called the Sora Asai. I might be making that up. Box. <laughs> um, and again, it's a little junk journal. So 
the pages. I actually put a lot of my washi tapes inside and I've journaled in these but the pages are all mixed paper so it's really nice to put a lot of different like smaller bits and pieces that I want in here. I've actually started using this as my um, journal that I put some things from my um, P.O. box mail and like washi tape samples and things like that. So that's that little journal. And then this one, I don't think I've even started on it yet. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the Sora. Let me just double check that. I'm pretty sure it's the Sora box. And then this little one I designed myself and it was for Japan. So I journaled in it while I was over there. And added a few stickers, stationery. <laughs> I love that little ice cream. Alrighty, so then the next ones I have are the larger journals. So this is my favourite. Look how big it is. So this is my traveller's notebook from the Traveller's Factory in Tokyo Station. It's so beautiful. I've already done flip throughs of this. So if you want to see the full flip through, go check out either my Japan vlogs or my journal with me's. I've done lots of journal spreads. And then I've also got it chock, chocker. I was going to say chocker filled. <laughs> it's very filled with, um, wow, I can't speak anymore. It's just filled. Yes, it's got a lot in there. And then it's got this little aeroplane charm on the front. And then this one I liked it because it kind of had the same style as a traveler's notebook. But it is a Kaisercraft journal. And I've also got lots of goodies inside. These are the teas that I've collected. Lots of bits and pieces in here. Beautiful flower. It actually got stuck on like that. I didn't even stick it down. And I've designed all of these on camera. So if you want to see any of my journal with me spreads, they are all online. Oh, little Danny. So those are my bigger journals. So that's everything on top. Now underneath is this really large plain box and I've started putting stickers all over it. And I've also stamped my shop logo on it. I haven't got anything inside of these yet other than a few shop products at the bottom here. This is, these are the sticker sets and a few goodies that I got. Um, the other day that I opened up in my studio vlog. So if you want to see what's inside of there, go check out my studio vlog. But the rest of these are empty. So we're going to move on to my stamps. Now I love these stamps. A lot of these stamps I actually got from a man that was a friend of a friend. His wife actually passed away and she had an entire craft room. Um, so any of the stamps that I don't know where they're from are from this man. He kindly gifted them to me. Um, and then a lot of these other stamps I got from Japan. I was also gifted them in your creative studio and also London gifties box. So I'll show you all the designs because they are just, these are my favorite. These ones are gorgeous. I'll just go back up because I love stamps <laughs> and these are the ones that you'll see in majority of my snail mail designs. Now the boxes that they're in, these two boxes are both from um, an antique store that I'll also list, list below. So I wanted to do a little close up on this guy because I got him out of a little gachapon and I lost him for so many years and then I refound him again when I was setting up my desk. So as you can see it's a little, I think it's a cat and it looks like a little sushi and it's got a little um, dish next to it full of soy sauce. It is so cute, I love it so much and it's so teeny tiny. And then next to our little cat sushi we've got May, Kiki and Sophie from um, 
So May is the little girl out of Totoro, Kiki is from Kiki's Delivery Service, and Sophie is the, um, well she's an old lady but in the movie she's actually been cursed so she's actually a young woman in an old lady's body and she's out of Howl's Moving Castle. So I highly recommend you go check out those videos. I talk about them like all the time on this channel if you haven't already seen them. And then I've also got the cat bus out of Totoro and a little milky pack that is all eaten up. So it's just an empty box now. Um, if I zoom out a little you will see my little Be Kind Scentsy Warmer and then also my cacti which is growing very very tall. I don't know what I'm going to do with him when he outgrows this space. So the last thing on this desk are these drawers and again these are little miscellaneous drawers just like the other ones full of papers, stickers, washi tape and bits and pieces that you guys have sent me. Now this will actually be perfect for the mail that I'm making later today for my patrons. So I'm going to put this one aside. Um, and then, yeah, it's just a whole bunch of washi tapes, washi tape samples. Actually, this whole drawer, other than these bits and pieces on top, I think are just washi tape samples. Let me show you. So this whole drawer is actually just washi tape samples. Wow, I didn't even realise that. Lucky I'm doing a stationary <laughs> tour because I forgot that these were here. Alright, well there is a lot of washi tape and these are all from you guys. Let me show you this pile. So the next drawer should be all miscellaneous. Here are the wax seals that I made in my wax seal video the other day. I've got a little mini Vegemite pot and wheat bags. <laughs> I might even display these. They're pretty cute. Let me take them out. Random bits and pieces all throughout here. Nothing too exciting, trust me. This next drawer, again, it's just lots of really random bits and pieces. I've got this like sewing kit. Oh, this is cute. A little Totoro postcard. Oh, and a little Studio Ghibli um, Spirited Away set. Oh, I'm going to put this in my oh, letter. Lucky I'm going through these drawers. A little, little Totoro postcard. Oh, this one's fun, isn't it? What else have I got in here? Little Mickey Mouse that I won out of a Gachapong in Japan. Oh, this is pretty. I might put that on my wall. Oh, these are all my postcards that I had on my wall. I wondered where these all went. This one's actually super interesting. One of you guys drew me this. Okay. I surprised myself. That draw was a lot more exciting than I thought it was going to be. I found these cute postcards. This is Circus Boy Band Design. You guys drew me this one, which I love. It's me. It's like a little watermelon. I got these ones from the first trip to Japan and these were on my wall and I might put these back on my wall because they inspire a lot of creativity. I love this. I'm glad I found all these. I've actually been wondering where these are from. I'll put those up and I'll put those back in here. Okay, let's get on with the video. Now this last drawer, again, lots of miscellaneous stickers, things that you guys have given me, washi tape samples, Polaroids, <laughs> all stickers, 
an ephemera. I think this is a drawer that I actually go through a lot when I'm looking to gift things in my snail mail packages. And then I've got a whole bunch of photos and then some postcards as well. So majority of the door drawer just had these like stickers and stuff inside. So that is everything on my desk. So let's now go over to my trolley and I'll show you what's on there. So starting at the top, I've got my envelopes for my shop. So these are the envelopes I'll send out all my packages in. I've also then got a whole bunch of these um, vellum papers. And this book has beautiful patterns that I like to use when I'm making mail art. I've also got a few letters that I haven't sent out yet. And then these are just books that I like to use to write some notes. And I've also got this stamp set, which I don't know why that's in there because I've got a spot for my stamps usually. I've then got some gel pens, a, this is just like a hole punch, scissors, some glues, a stapler. I've also got some pens down here, easy access. <laughs> and then on this side, I've got a microfiber cloth that I like to wipe down my table. And if I turn this to the side, you can see that I've got um, this little book here for writing some more notes. These are my, um, basically it's like the things that I need to edit my videos with. So it's a USB, no, U, USD, sorry, card reader. And then I have no idea what's in this container. Ah, oh, it's just a bit of miscellaneous items. So I've got paper clips, little mini envelopes. Oh, this little guy I bought from Japan. I love him. And then a stamp. That was random. I don't know why I need that on the top of my trolley. <laughs> All right, and then I'll show you the next layer down. So I try to keep as many things on my trolley that I need to make my orders. This little guy is so cute. I got him from Daiso. I don't know why I always call things him for. She can be a she. <laughs> so I got her from Daiso and it's just a little dustpan and brush. This is full of my old PO box addresses and a few miscellaneous items for my shop, designing mail art. I've also got all my glues, matches, like things like um, what's it called, twines in here as well because I always use twine for my mail art, my Fememo um, papers, a little disposable camera, I don't know why I've got that one in there, and then at the back here I've also got some more envelopes for packing and a few more um, mails that I haven't sent out yet. I've also got these little tubs here. And then I've got my alphabet stamps, which I use a lot as well. And they're also from Typo. I'm going to keep them out today. I can't remember what's in these tubs, so I thought I'd open them up for you. This one says, you're all that and dim sum. <laughs> and then this one says, what's up, bae? Like wasabi. I thought they're cute. Little pun to start your morning. Oh, okay. So they're clips. And they're string. <laughs> okay. So I've got clips and string in those boxes. So the third tier isn't that interesting. I've got some highlighters. This box is filled just with a bunch of stationery things that I got from um, in the mood for. I've also got some packing materials. This is also filled with a bunch of stationery 
that I should probably use more and take out of that box. <laughs> this one here is kind of cool. <gasps> it's all of my favorite stamps. So this is everything that wasn't up on my desk. Again, I love like the bee stamp, the moon stamp. I use this one all the time. I've also got this stamp album down here. And then on this side, I've got my Fomemo printer, my socket, um, sorry, my sprocket, my HB sprocket, which prints out images. Let me show you. And then some miscellaneous um, bits and pieces as well. I've also got some more washi tape down here. And that is everything from that cart. So that is everything inside of that cart. Now under my desk, I've also got some rolls of craft paper that I'm gonna start wrapping some orders with. I've also got my little stand-up desk, a little selfie stick when I wanna make um, Instagram videos. So it's really good because I can put my phone on there. And then also this is a little paper roller so I can roll out the paper easily. And then I've also just got my little bin over here for all my paper that I cut out um, making all my little packages. Across the other side of the room, I thought I'd start at the bottom again. At the side, this black thing that you see here, that's actually just a roll off my back. So nothing too exciting, not really stationary. So at the bottom here, in the blue drawers in the middle, I've got lots of just miscellaneous ripped up pieces of papers and stickers. Um, again, it looks like the drawers that I had on my desk. On top of that, I've got a DIY album from Daiso, and it's just an Alice in Wonderland one. On top of that, I've got my basket for my bike, and I've actually got a lot of mail inside of it, but I can't go through them just because they have addresses. And then I'll show you what I've got to the side. So this basket is just full of miscellaneous things again. I got these lollies from the oldest candy shop in Japan. And then these are all the things that I had left when I was doing my craft room tour. So these are all the things that were just on the ground that I had no idea where to put them. And then I also have, again, this tub is also just filled with some papers and envelopes. Actually a lot of mail that I need to go through <laughs> um, to actually reply back to some of those people. And then I've also got this crate over here. So this big scrapbook here is full of snail mail for the first couple of years that I had my PO box. So it is massive. I've already done a flip through before. I don't think I've updated it since the last flip through, but basically it's just all the mail art and the letters that you guys have sent me. And then I don't even know what's under here. I've got some books. <laughs> we need the boo book stamp album and then this box underneath is full of papers that I like to scrapbook with. I've also then got um, this planner from Kiki K. I actually found this one at a dop shop so it's got scribbles on the front and then I got this pencil from a vintage shop and I liked it because it said the Gold Coast on it which Dan and I are now living in Queensland and the Gold Coast is in Queensland. So that's all the things in that crate. Moving up to the next shelf, I've got some books on the side here. I'm actually going to move those out. I'm going to show you what's behind in those drawers because I've got all my washi tape. I then have this massive roll of twine and then behind them I have all of my Frankie books and my class books for school. This little thing here is just got some washi tapes on it. I then also have some miscellaneous drawers. There is just a lot of bits and pieces from you guys as well. Um, and a bits of stationery that I probably don't need to go through today because again it's just stickers and um, post-it notes. I've got my little plandy here, another roll of twine and we'll show you what's at the back. So I'll take this crate out behind here and show you what's inside over on my desk. Oops, oops, everything just fell. So in this crate, I've got these three folders 
full of snail mail. These are the ones that couldn't fit in my scrapbook. I then got two books from the lady who actually owns Kiki K. And then these are actually letter sets from Kiki K as well. So let me show you what's inside. This is the self love set. This is the one with the dogs and cats. Um, I've also got one of Jordan's sticker sets in here. So I've got the blue spotted ones that I really, really love. I've also got a few miscellaneous things. I don't know where these came from. Oh, I've been looking for these. And these. And then these are the ones that are actually part of the set. So these are the dogs and cats and spots. They've got little mini envelopes, but as you can see, I've used a lot of the stationery already in this set. I've also got the small circles and then the letter writing set left. So let's put all that back in and I'm probably going to use some of these in my mail today that I create. This one here I really like because it actually says snail mail on it so it matches my theme really really well and then inside it's got blue envelopes these ones with mushrooms which you guys know I love my mushrooms and the envelopes as well is so cute the writing paper are also in this pastel color and they've got these beautiful designs around the edges and then I've got the little mini envelopes and cards that match as well and this one says I'm nuts about you which I think is really cute so next to the crate on the second shelf were these two journals now this one here is my journal from Japan I collected a lot of stationery that I popped inside of here I also kept pamphlets um, and I also stuck down images from my HP sprocket that I printed out while I was over there so if you want to see the full flip through I've actually got one on my channel in my Japan vlogs I've also got this adventure journal that I completed a while ago now I've got lots of journal with me so if you want to see how I create these journal spreads Go check out the journal with me. Um, there basically there's a whole playlist and then I've got lots of adventures that I've just filmed as well. So uh, I'll do a quick flip through. Again you can see I've got lots of spreads from my Japan trips. I've got lots of um, just images that I've created like painted or stuck on or things like playlists some dried flowers and I had a lot of fun making this journal so this one was one of my first journals that I ever completed also on the second shelf was the drawers at the side now in one of the drawers I have this big <laughs> drawer full of all of my washi tapes now if I move the ones on top you can actually see that they're kind of organized it's just that I ran out of space so you can see that they're actually all laid out nicely here. I'm not going to go through all my washi tape today just because I have done that in a recent video. I'm pretty sure it's in my stationery playlist. I took out all my washi tape, I went through them one by one and then I also did a little mini giveaway in that video. So you can go check that out, I'll have a link in the description box below. So in this top tub here I've actually got washi tape that I'm selling in my shop. On the third shelf here I've also got some more items that I'm selling in my shop soon. They're not up yet but I will have them up over the next couple of weeks. Um, but I've actually just gone through all of these items in detail in my latest video in my studio vlog. So if you want to go see the items that are soon, um, that are soon, that are going to soon be in my shop, um, go check that video out. So behind my shop items, I've got these two boxes here full of stationery. And then I've got two books that are wildflowers and herbs. I use them a lot in my botanical snail mail designs. And then I've also got this cute little tin on top. It's just full of stickers. Now next to the stationery boxes and the books are a few more journals. Again, I've done journal spreads. Sorry, I've done journal flip throughs of all of these journals here. And then I've also just got some pencil cases. So I've got my little Totoro pencil case, 
my little Dormor pencil case. And this one I bought from Japan as well. And then as you can see, behind the little pencil cases are some more journals. Um, but yeah, I've got an entire journal playlist if you want to go see flip throughs of those. Now, next to my journals, I've got this metal um, box. And I've got some few goodies in here that I haven't actually shown you guys yet. So let me pick out my favorite items in this crate and I'll show you what's inside. Okay, so starting from the left, I've got this sticker book. This is a Kiki K sticker book and it actually matches the um, envelope and letter sets that I showed you earlier. So a lot of the similar stickers. I've also got things like letter sets in that crate over there. So as you can see, it's got these beautiful designs. I got this one, I'm pretty sure, from Loft in Japan. I've got some, this is actually a zine from an Etsy store owner and they wrote me a little note and information about themselves. They're actually from Australia so I wanted to support them on Etsy. I haven't even read this one, I bought this honestly like months ago and I haven't had the time to sit down and read it but it looks gorgeous and I would love to create my own zine one day. I've also got little journals in there that have beautiful patterns. So this is the Moomin one. And I haven't used it yet because I haven't justified ripping out any of the pages to use them for um, writing letters. And I would love to do that, but I think I'm going to just keep this as a journal. So maybe it can be next year's journal since I haven't got a journal for 2021. Hopefully it's going to be a better year. And then I did make a video where I showed you how to, sorry, I did a DIY video where I showed you how to make like a mini junk journal. So this I actually created out of cardboard and I just decorated myself. So I had a little pocket in the side here and then I attached it using this massive paper clip, which is in one of my drawers. I just showed you where those were. And then I sewed it all together and I created my own little junk journal. I'd love to create these and put them on my Etsy store. Let me know if you guys would be interested. But yeah, it's full of beautiful papers. But I haven't used it yet. I'm waiting for the right time, I think. And then... Oops. Oh no, I ruined it. No, I didn't. Okay. And that's the back of it. And it goes, this block, sorry, <laughs> this book belongs to Brittany and I made it in March. And then this was actually designed and gifted to me in the mail. So those are the things that I have over in my crate. This last shelf is definitely more decorative than anything else. At the back, I've got some Flow magazines, Frankie magazines, the big metal box and the trunks don't have anything inside. I've also got my um, Totoro terrarium at the back there, some little mushrooms off the side, my little Dobby. <laughs> And then I've also got some other little decorative bits and pieces. And then right over to the left hand side next to the twine are a few little um, other journals that I've completed. So that's everything on the top set shelf. Next to my shelves, I've got a botanical print. And then I've also got a crate of all my Kiki K paper lovers books and also my typewriter. Now I've actually done flip throughs of all of the paper lovers books. So if you want to see any of these in detail, you can go over onto my stationary playlist where you can see all of the goodies inside of these books. So I'm not going to do that today just because it takes a long time. To flip through each one of these and I've also used a lot of the stationery inside of these books. I've also just got a few little journals at the front here and this one at the very front I made and designed myself in Japan. 
And then here is my beautiful typewriter. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I purchased it recently. The top drawer is full of a lot of products that I sell in my shop. So these washi tapes I sell individually in my shop. I've also got a whole bunch of stickers and then items that independent artists have also designed. The next drawer is full of large miscellaneous bits and pieces. So I've got some mail that I haven't sent out yet. I've also got lots of PO Box mail from you guys. And then at the very bottom, I've got lots of large, um, just little paper sets that I use throughout my packages and my snail mail um, designs. So this is my craft drawer full of string and twine and all little bits and pieces that I can create. Um, basically, if I was designing things that weren't paper crafts. So I've also got things like hot glue guns in here as well and felt. I just realized how much paper I have. Um, so I've got a folder here of lots of snail mail that I received in my PO box. Basically, majority of this craft room is just full with snail mail. Um, I've also got a few comics. There's papers that I pack orders with and at the bottom here I've also got some calendars and some posters as well. I hope you guys are enjoying this video because it's taken me a really long time to make. I started this this morning at around 8 and I think it's around 10 now so it's taken quite a long time but I finally finished this side of the room. So this is the end of the video so thank you so much for watching me show you all my stationery in my craft room. Um, and yeah, leave a comment if you liked this video, if you're going to go check out my other playlist with my flip throughs, or you can see me in the reflection there. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.